Storybook 7 gives you a one line solution for generating component documentation for any component with type annotations. You have full control over how Autodocs are rendered for every single component. In this video, I'll show you how to customize Autodocs with doc blocks. Let's dive in. Doc blocks are pre configured components designed to build component documentation quickly. They're a huge topic in Storybook with unlimited potential. In this video, we'll just scratch the surface by modifying our Autodocs template. And if you don't know what Autodocs are, I have a tutorial that you should probably check out before doing this one. To modify the Autodocs template, open or create a story preview module. Inside of the parameters property, add a docs object. Then add a page function. This will return our Autodocs template. Next, import all of the doc blocks from at storybook blocks. First, render just the doc block title and refresh to see the change. With just a few lines of configuration, we now have a fully custom Autodocs template. Now, with some builders, you may encounter an error here, and I want to touch on that so you don't get frustrated. Note that I'm using a TSX file. If you use Storybook by default, uh, it's gonna ship with a .ts file. If I save that as TS and refresh, we do get an error. And that's just because TS files don't know how to interpret this JSX. So as long as it's a TSX file, you'll be good to go. There's also a warning here that React is not in scope. So we can fix that just by importing React. Then that warning goes away. Now that we have our custom Autodocs template set up, let's build it up using the components that we get from DocBlocks. We have a description component that places the JS doc description inside of our button.tsx. We have a primary component that shares the primary story along with a show code button where we can copy the code required to use this component. The controls component renders a table for all of the props, including all of the interface information known from our type annotations. As the name suggests, there's also controls to control the primary story with appropriate inputs. The last component used in the standard Autodocs template is stories, which will take all of the stories, place them in this docs view with copy and pasteable code snippets. We can use parameter inheritance to scope our docs page templates to just a single component. Instead of applying all these changes globally inside of the preview module, open the stories file for the component you'd like to scope these docs page changes to. Make sure that there's a parameters field and add the docs page setup there. Of course, we'll need to import our doc blocks here, delete some sections just to make sure that we can see the change, which we do. But unlike before, we now see that header has the default auto docs template while only buttons has this custom one. Now, should we come up with something that we want to share? This is easily shared by giving this docs page template a name and then defining it in some shared space. So that's it for today's storybook quick tip. You learned how to customize auto docs with docs page templates. Pretty cool. And we even learned how to fix some errors along the way. If you want to learn more about auto docs, I got some videos for you right here. And you know, why don't you hit the like button on the way over there? I'm Chantastic. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.